I do a lot of travel and bringing the right clothing can sometimes be a difficult choice because you might need clothing that will last on a hike, then you might need them for a fancy dinner, but you also don't want them to hold odor. They also need to be easily cleaned. And on top of that, you might be on a trip for five days or four weeks, and you might not have a lot of room to bring extra clothes, especially if you're doing one bag travel. Well, today I want to show you the brand that I rely on and I trust the most when it comes to my travels, no matter where or what I'm doing. I know that if I pick anything from this lineup, depending on where I'm going, I'm going to be okay. And that brand is Western Rise, a brand that I love to death. And I've talked about multiple times on this channel, but I want to take a second and just kind of show you everything because they have a bunch of new stuff. They sent me some new stuff. And if you're looking for an upgrade to your wardrobe, when it comes to travel, this is probably it. And if you're wondering why it sounds like I'm stumbling over my words, it's because I had to do this intro five different times because I kept forgetting to hit record. But on that note, let's roll the new intro. So thanks to Western Rise, they are sponsoring this video and they gave me a discount code that if you use it, you get 15% off your order and my channel gets a little kickback, which is great because I'm still trying to replace all of my audio gear. So all those sales will go to helping me invest in getting my microphones that I lost on my trip to Maine back. So if you use the discount code ODI, that's O-D-I-E linked below, you will get 15% off your order. And like I said, you're giving a little kickback to this channel supporting me, but also this is just a fantastic brand and I absolutely love them and I have so much of their clothing to show you today and we're gonna get into that now. I'm gonna explain how certain items that they have work really well on your trips no matter what you're doing. And I mean that literally, no matter what you're doing, whether it be hiking, dinners, going out and about, or just lounging around, they literally have something for everything. And that's why it's pretty much the entirety of my wardrobe. Okay, so let's talk about pants. That's a pretty big item because pants are something you don't need to usually bring a lot of, but you wanna make sure you bring pants that are gonna work for whatever you're doing. And I'm gonna stress that point multiple times because it's important when it comes to travel essential clothing, that is the most essential part. Clothing that's gonna be able to be used no matter what you're doing. So they offer three main different types of pants. They're diversion pants, they're AT Slim pants, and they're evolution pants. I will also say that I've talked about a lot of this clothing in separate videos. So if you want me to go specifically into like the diversion pants or the evolution pants, or maybe some of their different clothing that are here, I have a couple of videos on my channel where I go a little bit more in depth this is just gonna be kind of broad overview and what each article is really good for and how I utilize it on my travels or even just in my everyday use. So the first one I wanna talk about is their diversion pants. Now these are my favorite and probably the best pants they offer in my opinion. I have them in black and this is like their blue gray color. Now these are insanely comfortable, stretchy, breathable, and honestly, they're super diverse, which is kind of funny because their name is the Diversion Pants. But I'm able to use these in the office for travel, for good gigs. I wore them to a wedding recently, which was pretty fun. Honestly, they kind of just go with everything. The best part about Diversion Pants is they're the best, in my opinion, for no matter what the activity is. These are great on hikes because like I said, they're stretchy and they're breathable and they're super durable, which is just an awesome trifecta. But on top of that, you can also wear them out to dinner. You can wear them out and about. You can go to the grocery store. You can pretty much do anything in these pants and be comfortable. They're also my favorite kind of pants to travel in on an airplane because again, all of those things really come in handy when you're going through security, when you're walking to your terminal, when you're sitting on the plane and you're sweating and you turn that little, little air conditioner on and it beams at 100 miles an hour directly in your eye, just one little circumference of air and it dries out your contact. These pants are great to, for the rest of your body to be comfortable. They also offer these in a wide variety of colors, so they pair really well with just about anything. But if you're looking for a good do-it-all pants, I don't think you can get much better than the diversion pants that they offer. Now the next pair that I really like that I think are also really good for travel because of how lightweight and easy they are to pack is the Evolution pants. Now I have these in black and khaki. I have black pants. I love black pants. I don't know what it is about black pants, but I'm just a big fan of black pants. Black and tan because I work in an office for now, about to be working remote, which is great because then I'll be chilling in their shorts, honestly, all day long. But these Evolution pants are probably the easiest to pack and not quite the most diverse, but are really good if you know you're just gonna do one or two things specifically on your trips. And those one or two things would probably be things like going out and about, maybe on the town, or maybe you're just visiting friends and family, but I wouldn't say these would be my go-to if I was gonna be going on hikes or doing a lot of outdoor adventurous things. And the one activity you wanna probably stay away from in these, in my opinion, would be outdoor, like heavily, like adventurous things. Now I actually wore these at the Salt Flats, and that was like as 
far as I'd be willing to go when it comes to kind of pushing that adventurous lifestyle. Because the salt flats, let's just face it, you're just going to walk around. You're not really going to be going on a lot of hikes. You're not doing a lot of climbing. But when I went to like Acadia, Maine National Park, I, I didn't bring these. I, I chose the diversion pants and a different pair of pants that were specifically for hiking because we were doing a lot of cliffs and everything like that. These, in my opinion, are really good for travel because they pack the easiest. They're the smallest and they're the lightest weight. So if you're going somewhere hot, but you're like me and you're not a big fan of wearing shorts, then this pair of pants is probably the best for you. Or on the flip side, if you're going somewhere and you need to bring more pants, but you don't have as much room, then bringing multiple pairs of something like this is perfect because they pack super well. Honestly, when it comes to packing these, I can almost pack two of these for the price of one of the Diversion or even the AT Slim Pants. So these are amazing for travel. If you're trying to do one bag travel, but you wanna push the limits just a little bit. And the last pair of pants they offer are the AT Slim Pants. Now these are good for travel. They're good for kind of the same thing that, that the Diversion Pants and the Evolution. They're kind of like the in-between. Not too adventurous because again, they're still not as good as the Diversion Pants in my opinion, but they're not as breathable and lightweight as the Evolution Pants. However, these are really good just for everyday activities. When it comes to going to the office, this pair right here is typically my go-to because I feel like they're stylish enough to get away with business casual, but they're also comfortable enough and full of my partner's hair apparently. Oh, mm -hmm. that's what happens when you live with someone who has a lot of hair in this shed. Uh, what was I saying? I also really like these for like date night and things like that. I feel like these are a great balance pants. If you want like that chino style, you don't want to go jeans, but maybe you don't want to go completely to the diversion pants, then I feel like these kind of teeter the line. I really like them. Again, I have them in black in this nice little like tan color and they work really well for business casual, maybe a little bit of a dinner, things like that. They're also good for travel because again, going through security, they're not as stretchy as the diversion pants, but they're equally as comfortable. And that's kind of the thing that's going to be a point for all of this, all of this clothing is gonna be comfortable, but when it comes to the pants, for me personally, if you're gonna be using them for travel and you wanna to lean towards one bag travel, it would go diversion pants, evolution pants, and then AT Slim. But if you're gonna be doing everyday items, maybe you want these for something like the office or just date night and things like that, then I think the AT Slim pants is a good happy medium there. But no matter which pair you pick, you're probably gonna be pretty happy with them. Again, I own six pairs of these in total and I'm ordering more because I just love them. The Diversion Pants, I'm gonna have one in every color because they're just that good. Okay, so on the subject of pants, let's move into shorts. Now they offer a few different kinds of shorts. This is like athletic wear, but also good for lounging around. They have this thing called the movement shorts, which are basically a better upgraded gym shorts that you get from like Walmart. These are if you did that and you're like, let's actually make them good. And that's why I love these movement shorts. I have them in black in their blue gray color, blue gray, blue gray color. And they are insanely comfortable. I wear these all the time when I'm around the house, when I go running, when I'm in the gym, when I have to take my dog out. Pretty much anytime I can get away with wearing shorts and I don't need to actually wear like a pair of shorts, like these boundless shorts that I'm gonna get into here in a second, these are my go-to. If you like athletic wear, like gym short style, but you've always wanted something that feels a little bit more durable, but also is somehow lighter weight and more breathable and just kind of has a nice stretch and doesn't feel like cumberbum some, then I would say that these movement shorts are hands down probably the best I've ever worn. Like I said, I have two pair and I absolutely love wearing these. And for travel, if you're someone that likes to bring a pair of shorts, maybe you're gonna work out in the hotel gym, maybe you're going on a run, maybe you're going somewhere and you wanna go hiking, but you need shorts these are the ones you'd want to go with. When it comes to summertime, which it basically is about to be, I wear these nonstop on hikes because they're super stretchy, they're durable, they're breathable, and they're extremely comfortable for hiking. Honestly, these are the best all-around do-it-all shorts. I know they don't look like typical standard, like regular shorts, again, like the Boundless, but they really can do it all, and they're really good if you want to go traveling and you need a pair of shorts that can do a little bit of everything, these movement shorts are pretty much unbeatable. And the other pair of shorts they offer are the boundless shorts. Now these are more casual shorts if you don't wanna quite go athletic wear, but you still kinda of need an all around do it all short, then these are fantastic. So these pack away just as easy as the movement short, but I feel like they're a little bit more casual so you can get away with maybe doing that brunch and in the afternoon, or you know if you wanna go on maybe a walk, but not quite a hike, but a walk. These are really good for just kind of all around travel shorts, not to mention the fact that you can wear them multiple days in a row and you don't really have to worry about stink. The same with all the pants I mentioned. I probably forgot to mention that during that, but with all of this clothing, I found that I can wear it multiple days, especially the pants, and I don't really have to worry. I know it's gonna sound kind of gross, but like 
when I'm around my house in my movement shorts, I don't like, I can get away with wearing them like five days in a row, just like lounging around the house. And I get it, like lounging around the house is way different than being outside in the heat, but like that's pretty great that I can pretty much wear them for like an entire week and not have to worry about them being stinky or dirty or like crusty or any of that. And these boundless shorts are no, no exception. They're ju just as good and they're just as phenomenal. And I'm really stoked that it's finally summer so we can wear these a little bit more because it's been so freaking cold lately, even though it's almost June. No, wait, it's middle of May. Nope, beginning of May. But either way, you get my point. It should be warmer. And these shorts are the best travel shorts, especially if you're going somewhere that's gonna be hotter or warmer, like Florida or somewhere tropical with lots of humidity. These are the shorts you're gonna want. And then the other pair of like, not shorts, but they're pants that they offer. These are their Spectrum joggers. I had to think about the name for a second. These are basically lounge pants, jogger pants, workout pants. Great for people that like to travel, but you maybe don't wanna bring sweatpants because obviously sweatpants can be a little warm, a little hot, but you wanna bring a long pair of pants maybe to lounge in, maybe to go down to the gym in, again, maybe to go running, maybe it's a little bit colder, kind of teetering that line of sweatpants, but not quite a full chino. These are pretty great, I love them. I wear them around my house mostly. I don't usually take these for travel because I'm not someone that brings long pants. I had to crank the AC down to like negative 50 degrees and then put a pair of shorts on and then just wrap myself in every single blanket in the hotel. I'm sure there's people out there that can relate. It's literally the best feeling in the world. I, I don't think anybody can, can, you know, can combat that. Like that's just, it's just proven it's the best feeling in the world. But these are really good if you wanna bring a long pair of pants, like I said, but you don't wanna quite go all sweatpants, but you don't wanna quite go chinos or jeans or anything like that. These are pretty great. But wait, we have so much more to get to. This is the Sun Hoodie. It's a lightweight, long sleeve hoodie that is great. I actually wore this to the office already and I really, really like the way it feels. For one, like I said, lightweight, easy to pack, very breathable. I felt that even with the sun out when it was in the 70s, I wasn't hot, but I felt like it was nice. When the breeze hit and everything, ah, it was just like the perfect feeling. I really like this kind of long sleeve hoodie thing. I'm a sucker for a long sleeve, lightweight shirt like this that has a hood. I think they're phenomenal. This is no exception. Again, super easy to pack, very breathable, no stink. I was sweating in this. I went for a long walk with my dog out in the sun, sweating a little bit, no stink. I probably stank, stink, stunk, but this did not stink, stunk, stunk. So honestly, pretty great. This is new. I just got this. I believe it's up on their site now. They sent it to me ahead of time to try. It's phenomenal. If you like stuff like this and you're, you, maybe you burn easily, but you want to be outside in the sun, but you don't want to sweat because you don't want to put an actual long sleeve shirt on, this is, this is unbeatable in that realm. I mean, I know there's other shirts and other things like that, but this is so perfect because it's stretchy, it's lightweight, it's breathable, but it just fits so perfectly. I, I don't think you can get any better than this if you're looking for something in this realm. They have a lot of different colors for their uh, session t-shirt, which is basically just their cotton shirt. I'm wearing one now in gray. I have four in total and one is covered in Momo fur. This is Max, by the way, if you can see that. Zoom in, editor me. This is my dog. I put, this is a new backdrop for returning people and new people. This is all new. I just got this Pete's Pirate Life. It doesn't matter. Anyways, three colors. You got black, which is covered in Momo fur. I've got the green, which I absolutely love. This is probably one of my favorites to wear. And then I have like a navy blue, and then I have my gray. All of these pair really well with the pants. As far as a cotton t-shirt goes, I'm not one to typically lean towards a cotton t-shirt, or at least I wasn't until I got these. These are the perfect blend of like just regular cotton t-shirts that work really great for office. I wear these to the office on casual Fridays. I mean, let's be honest, every day is casual Friday for me. My office does not care. I wear pretty much hoodies or t-shirts every day and no one says anything and that's fine with me. I wear these all the time. They're great for date nights, going out. They pack really well. And again, because they come in a couple different colors and I feel like they're not your stereotypical cotton shirts and they last really long on trips. These are the shirts that I took to Florida. Not all of these, I took two of them. And they, they, were, they were perfect. Even when I was sweating, even when I was out in the sun, they pack really well, they're breathable. They're a very comfortable cotton. I'm not a huge fan of cotton, not typically. I typically like more of the athletic wear kind of shirts because I just feel like they fit nicer, they feel nicer, you know all of that jazz, but I feel like these cotton ones are the exception that I just absolutely love. They're just so comfortable in the way they pack and all different colors. And they're just like a, a very high premium quality cotton t-shirt. I don't know, Western Rise, they're just wizards when it comes to the way they design and make their clothing. It's just, it's insane. And if you're hesitant, I know this is like a weird spot to put this in, but if you're hesitant to pull the trigger because of the price tag, for one, somebody hooked you up with a 15% discount code. 
So that's pretty great. But also like the return policy is really great. The people over there are super easy to work with. They're very understanding. They're very nice. They're very responsive. Will, who's the owner, is an amazing guy. It's a great company based out of Telluride, Colorado, very small company, very mom and pop style. And they're just really making products that they really truly believe will elevate your clothing and elevate your lifestyle and just kind of make everything easier. And for me, they really have. I was hesitant to pull the trigger, but then I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna drop like 300 bucks, get a couple pairs of pants, get a couple shirts. And it's a lot for just a few items. And I was hooked. I was hooked from then on out. So maybe start small, maybe get one pair of pants, maybe get a t-shirt, but I would, I would highly encourage you to at least check out if you're a fan of like these kind of shirts or like I said, the Sun Hoodie or any of these, maybe just check out one, try it out. Okay, so speaking of athletic wear, this is their like, I think it's called the movement t-shirt, but this is their athletic t-shirt. And again, everything I'm mentioning, every single thing, I'll link directly to that below just so you can easily find it instead of having to scour the website. I know there's a lot of things here. If there's one thing you're interested for, one, there's time codes down below. And also I'll link it directly in the description so you don't have to go searching on their website because a lot of stuff here. You might not know all the names and I also might be butchering some of their names, but I believe this is their movement shirt. Um, it doesn't say. This is my workout shirt. This is my lounge shirt. This is my all around shirt. When I travel, I like to bring a shirt like this because it's super lightweight. I mean, this thing is literally nothing. It's like so light, so breathable. I like to pair this with a pair of the movement shorts. And then I kind of have an athletic lounge all around, just kind of easy outfit to do whatever I need to go. Maybe, you know, a relaxing day, maybe a busy day, maybe an activity day. Depending on what it is, this combo is great. Again, if you're someone that likes to work out in the hotel gym, good for you, not me. I'd rather sleep, not my fan. If you get up at 6 a.m. to go to the gym on vacation, props, like major props for that because that's, no thank you. I want the continental breakfast in bed, please and thank you with French toast. Uh, these are great. This is, again, it's a perfect athletic shirt. Even if you're not traveling and you like the gym, this shirt, I can work out in this like three days in a row and it's still not stink. And I don't know why, but it, it, it still doesn't matter. So I would, I would try this shirt if you're into athletic wear. It pairs really well with those movement shorts that I mentioned. Okay, and then one of my other favorite things, and I feel like this is really good if you're going somewhere and you wanna bring maybe not quite a button up shirt, but a little bit fancier than a t-shirt, then I think that their Henleys are phenomenal. Probably some of my favorite things. I love a good Henley. I have one in black. Gray might be easier to see because black is always hard. But these, I wear them all the time at the office. Like I said, maybe you're traveling, and you're like, I need to bring a nicer shirt that I can wear a couple different places, and maybe it's a nice dinner. This, this is perfect. This is great. I wore this in Florida to what was like the family dinner is my uncle-in-law, if that's a thing. He was getting married a second time to the same person, but they already had a wedding. So this is like a same wedding, but a year later. I don't know, it was weird. It was a destination wedding. It was black tie wedding, but the dinner was like a little bit fancier. And this was perfect because it's a Henley, which I think looks good. It looks nice, it fits well. It's long sleeve, so you kind of get that like casual look, but a little bit of that business look. I don't know, Henleys to me very much teeter that line. And I think it works really well. These Henleys are my favorite. I have them in two colors. And if you're a big fan of Henleys and long sleeves, then this is basically your long sleeve version of the cotton t-shirt that I mentioned, but just a slightly bit fancier. But then there's one last thing I wanna talk about that I personally like, and that's their two hats. They have their Versa hat, which is fantastic for travel, and their brand new shift hat, which I think will be out at the time of recording or the time this video goes up, but keep an eye out in case it's not linked below. But as soon as it is, depending on when you're watching this video, I'll link it below. These hats are the same material, one is structured and one isn't. I wanna show you the Versa hat because this hat literally is perfect if you want a hat that you can pack away and you can kind of do whatever you want with it and then it'll come right back to what you want. This hat is great for a variety of things. I like to wear it, um, especially on trips because if you wanna bring a hat that's gonna breathe, it's gonna pack, maybe you don't wanna wear a hat on the plane but you wanna bring one with you. This bill, you can crunch it, you can smush it, you can pack it, you can flatten it, and it'll always come back to how you want it. Always. Every single time. It's just amazing. It's probably my favorite hat. Well, scratch that. It was my favorite hat until I got the shift hat. This is the same thing, but like I said, structure. It's your typical ball cap. I like this a lot. I like the netting in the back. It fits really well. It's made from the same material as the Versa hat, which is really breathable really nice, very comfortable. I love how comfortable these hats are. I'm very picky and self-conscious when I wear hats. For some reason, it's like my main thing is like, do I look weird? Does the hat look too big? Does my head look too big? Does my hair look too weird? What does my hair look like when I take my hat off? 
usually not good. Why do I put the hat on in the first place? But it doesn't really matter. These two hats are great. This one, you can't really smush and move around and stuff. This definitely has like an actual bill, whereas this one literally doesn't. You know, this this one you can do, you can do the wave with this one. You can't, you can't do it with this one. You wouldn't want to. But this is a good structured hat if you're someone that likes to wear one, maybe on the plane, maybe whatever you're doing. You know, this is a good one. Again, these both work for travel. I said this video is like travel essential clothing. It's pretty much just clothing. Just good clothing that you can use all around. All right, I think that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to cover on this. This is not everything they offer on their website. They also have socks, underwears, they have a nice beanie. They have a lot of good jackets, but as we're moving into summer, it doesn't feel like this is the best time to show you the jackets. I also have a full in-depth review on both of their jackets. Their Airloft 2.0 and their Airloft shirt jacket. Phenomenal, the best for travel. If you're going somewhere cold and you need a good jacket, it's gonna keep you warm, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be easy to pack away in case you don't wanna actually wear it on the plane. Airloft 2.0, I'll throw a card up here. Check it out, especially if you're someone that likes jackets. Both of those, the material is really comfy. I love the way it feels. It is just a phenomenal, phenomenal, like medium weight jacket. It's not quite lightweight, but it's not gonna keep you warm in like negative 10 or even 10 degree weather. It's good for like 30 degree weather, with maybe like a slight wind with a long sleeve underneath. But again, I have full reviews on both of those. So that's why I didn't really mention it in this video, but I'll mention it here if you're interested in those things to check out those extra videos. So with all of that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of the clothing that I mentioned here, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. Uh, you can shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. If you have any questions, if you wanna see more videos, more photos, whatever it might be, or if you just wanna have a chat, you know, I'm always down to have a chat. If you have bag questions or clothing questions or whatever, you can shoot me over there. Uh, don't shoot me, but you can shoot me an email over there. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that good nonsense. Thank you guys again so very much for supporting this channel and watching this video. Uh, so with all of that being said, I will see you next time.